then George was ruled out of the game on Saturday, so that's when I knew. Um, I got reps in practice, though. Uh, me and Peter, both, we got a lot of reps last week. We were prepared. Uh, the coaches put together a good game plan, and we came out and competed. How do you like that kind of heavy package you guys seem to use over and over? Yeah, each dead end has their own role on the team, and we all know that um, it's next man in here. Uh, that's how it's been since I got here last year. Um, they believe in us, your coaches believe in you, your teammates believe in you, and it's just your job to go out there and get the job done. Certainly, George Kittle, big shoes to fill. Yeah. I'm sure for you as a redshirt freshman walk-on. Mm -hmm. um, how was that going in? The last year, coming here, um, being a redshirt under Henry Kierkobo and Jake Doozy, phenomenal players. And then uh, this year, having George uh, take me under his wing and take the rest of us under the wing, too. The older guys have done a tremendous job. I set the example of um, coming in each day and putting in work and just um, playing hard and competing. Are you, are you more of the blocker and Noah more of the receiver right now? Is that kind of how that role falls? Uh, yeah, each each uh, tight end has their own role. Um, we know that um, each of us plays a role in each victory, even the scout team guys uh, especially. I mean, they come in every day. They're putting in work against the defense. They're getting the defense prepared. It's our job, too, to uh, dominate our matchup and get our job done. Are you surprised to, to be out there? I mean, you're a redshirt freshman walk-on, and here you are against Michigan. Yeah, and well, you're out there, I think you played, what, 40 snaps somewhere around yeah. there? Yeah, well, uh, like I said before, it's next man up. Coach Ferentz, he always talks about that. Um, you're just a turned ankle away from playing, so you got to be ready each and every week. you got to prepare like you're starting and um, just to get the job done. But is there still a moment for you when you find that George is out, you're having a bigger role where you go, okay, whoa, I now have, like, you know, 40, 30 snaps coming in against the Michigan, against a yeah. team like that. Is there a moment where it all kind of hits you? Yeah, um, Peter and I, we talked about it the night before. We talked about how each of us were getting our first start, um, how it's going to be a great environment. I mean, that's why you play football, uh, to start, to play in those big games. I mean, it's the Big Ten. You, you can't get anything better than that, especially against a team like Michigan. Um, just last week, uh, coming out in Kinnick, the fans were rocking. Uh, everyone was amped up, and we were ready to go. What were your other options coming out of Rockford? Um, I probably could have played at like North Dakota State or Illinois State. Um, other than that, I really didn't have much many options. How did Iowa initiate contact with you? Um, Brian Ferentz emailed me, so I didn't know if he was recruiting um, my area or what, but uh, we got in contact, uh, came down here and took a visit and decided to come to Iowa. Um, did you have any other offers that no. were money offers? No. No. This was just... You wanted to play football? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime you get an offer, even to walk on at a Big Ten university, uh, I really wanted to jump on that. Like I said, it doesn't get much better than Big Ten football. Each and every week, it's a challenge. Just like this week, Illinois has great players. Their defensive ends are extremely fast and athletic. We just uh, we need to come in and compete each and every day and uh, get the job done on Saturday. Did you? Um did you have to gain a whole bunch of weight to get to the field? Yeah, yeah my first weigh in here was actually at 217 pounds, okay. and that was last June. So I weigh 247 pounds now, so that's 30 pounds in a year. Uh, strength cat, co excuse me, the strength staff, Coach Doyle, they do a tremendous job. Um, there's food flowing all over the place. Um, it's really up to you if you if you want to put in the work and gain that weight. How many meals do you have to eat a day to gain 30 pounds in a year? Yeah, it's quite a lot. Um, <laughs> Usually we come in, uh, we grab some refuel, yogurt, fruit, maybe some oatmeal. Uh, we go lift, we go to practice, we come back, get some breakfast. Uh, we grab lunch um, throughout the day, we come back, usually get another snack in us, probably protein bar, maybe a protein shake, something like that. We come back for dinner, and usually um, we're always advised to eat before bed, so I don't know how many that is, six, five, six meals a day. It's quite a lot. Is it hard to do?